Westwell flight test crew here at the 2014 Tiger Festival Balloons. In the issue of Rotodrone magazine that's on newsstands now, we've got an article about being at this event, and we want to give you guys a peek at what's happening behind the scenes. Well, let's do it. All right. One thing about flying with hot air balloons is we occasionally get people online who are upset with us. They think we're putting lives at risk by flying six slashing propellers up close to the balloons. Well, this year, we found an aeronaut crazy enough to let us find out whether or not there really is any danger with a live demonstration. More on that in a bit. But before we could risk bringing down our bird or a balloon with a stunt like this, we had a job to get done for our friends over at Rotodrome. One of the things I really like about Rotodrome magazine is the quality of the photography they've got in here. It's like National Geographic for RC or something. Anyway, I sure hope they like the stuff we come up with. As always, the balloonists got off to an early start, gathering on the field before dawn to prepare for the day's flights. This was the 30th year of the Tigered Festival of Balloons, and we were glad to be back. We had a different mission this time, getting high-quality aerial photos, but we ran into a last-minute snag that would have sunk us if not for Tekkenstein's ingenuity. Okay, so we had a little modification to Raven today. We actually mounted an NEX-7 camera from Sony on here, and we thought it could do time-lapse, or at least take sequential photographs continuously. We actually got the remote control so we could do that, it didn't work. So, the solution was simple. Just attach a servo uh, to the top and press the button. That seems to work just fine. So, I have a switch on the radio to press the button, and that worked. Problem solved, we literally flew day and night snapping aerial photos for the magazine. It was a grueling schedule, but it did lead me to a new realization. Well, if we've learned one thing after hanging out with balloonists for all these years, it's that as a species, they must not need much sleep. Because here they are, well past dark, doing the night glow, and they got to turn around and be back here well before sunrise tomorrow morning to go flying again. And this is the summer solstice. It's the longest day or the shortest night of the whole year. Oh, it's time for us to go home and go to bed. When we weren't busy taking pictures, we got to try some new things, including the first ever multi-rotor flight inside the envelope of a standing hot air balloon. Okay. Videotape what I'm about to do. It's going to be really stupid. It's already recording. Just... All right, here goes nothing. Oh my God. <laughs> By the end of the three-day festival, we'd made an important new friend. All right, so this is our fourth year of involvement with the Tiger Festival of Balloons, and this year we've got a new air boss. When we showed up and started hauling multi-rotors out of the car, he was kind of skeptical about us being here, and that's okay, it's his job to be worried about safety. But anyway, by the end of the festival, he actually apparently had built up enough trust in us that he asked us to take Raven up right over the center of the field and capture a straight down aerial photograph so they can use for planning future years. So I figure that's a, that's a pretty good vote of confidence. To capture that photo, 
We rigged up the NEX-7 with a wide-angle lens, pointing straight down off the bottom of the aircraft. I used our laser rangefinder to identify the precise center of the field, then positioned myself in that exact spot. Tekkenstein launched Raven and flew her eyes on up over the field. Using my cell phone, I guided him into position and then he snapped the photo. With the last of our official duties finally discharged, it was time to determine once and for all whether or not the whirling propellers of a multi-rotor are actually a threat to hot air balloons. Okay, so we, we impacted the balloon. We were actually hit with this prop here. What happened is it, it caught the motor and stopped it completely, like bound up in the material. Whipped the aircraft around, hit the balloon, fell to the ground. Now, a little bit of damage, nothing major. Broken propeller, broken mount, and we broke the bowl. And luckily the bowl actually saved everything in the inside, so it's good to go. And a little bit of a bent undercarriage, but it saved the battery. So we're happy with this outcome actually, considering. And what we learned here is that drone versus balloon, balloon wins. So that was our weekend at the Tiger Festival of Balloons. And check out our article in the issue of Rotor Drone Magazine on newsstands now. Hope you'll enjoy reading. See you next time. All right, fly safe. <laughs>